Hey YouTube, it's your boy D7 here and yesterday we saw the release of a new 5.0.1 beta firmware. Now, of course, yes, you can jailbreak this with the uh, Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8. Um, it is tethered. Devices supported are as follows. Please listen carefully. So it's iPod Touch 3rd Gen, iPod Touch 4th Gen, iPhone 3GS Old Boot ROM, New Boot ROM, iPhone 4, iPad 1. Devices not supported are iPhone 4S and iPad 2. These two are being worked on as we speak, but they are not supported in this installment of Red Snow. So guys, I'm going to use my iPod Touch 4th Gen, um, and you're going to need two downloads, three downloads actually. Um, this also brings a new iTunes 10.5.1 Beta 2. So I'm going to bring you down to iMod Zone where you can come and get your new iTunes. Um, so for Windows and Macs, you have 32-bit and 64-bit um, Windows versions and Mac version, of course. And then just below that are the 5.0.1 beta firmwares for your respective device. Okay, guys? So once you've taken those two downloads, you will also need a copy of the Red Snow 0.9.9 Beta 8. You can come and get that, of course, from the links I've provided. So once you've, gone, you've done that, your iTunes is updated, you've installed your 5.0.1 beta firmware on your device manually shift click restore we're ready to jailbreak so all we need to do is open up our red snow especially on windows 7 users and vista users i want you to right click on the exe file and make sure you uh, go to properties and click on compatibility and make sure you tick the run this program in compatibility mode for windows xp uh, click apply and click OK. This will stop it from crashing midway through the jailbreak. So let's open that up now. And we can shut that down. Right, OK. So this is not a public released IPSW firmware. So we need to click on extras and we need to um, select IPSW manually. Um, save to desktop and select the one you've updated to and now Red Snow will read this as the IPSW you wish to jailbreak so we can go back we can go to jailbreak and we want to of course install Cydia enable battery percentages I don't need to and I wish to enable multitask gestures so I can click next and now I need to put the camera down because this is the part we set the device into DFU mode. So I'm going to click next and of course it always gives me the instructions. So it's home button, power button. 10 seconds. Release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button. Okay guys, so once we hit the dock screen, we obviously now have Cydia, but it's ghosted, so it's just a white icon. This is because it's a tethered jailbreak, so meaning every time you reboot uh, or download an app uh, via Cydia or a tweak that requires you to reboot or you switch your device off and on again, you will need to run just tethered, so um, we need to automatically even after the jailbreak run just boot tethered so keep your device plugged in we can click OK as it's done its first bit click back and then click on right at the top just boot tethered OK so that's all we need to do click next and we're ready to set our device into DFU mode so it's home button power button again 10 seconds release the power button and keep your thumb on the home button. Okay guys and there we have it so now your Cydia should have um, complete color to it and will now work and again 
every time you do the jailbreak first time round, it's tethered jailbreak, you will need to run Just Boot Tethered. Um, then anything that requires you to uh, reboot your device, you will need to run again Just Boot Tethered. Guys, for what 5.0.1 beta brings to the table and the new iTunes, um, I've got a little description down the bottom with the downloads just to let you know what, what this brings, uh, what it does, what they fixed. Um, okay guys, so thanks for watching. It's your boy D7 as always. Come catch me on Twitter as well if you need any more help or uh, just to follow for the news. Um, I will stick the link down below as always. Um, it's your boy D7. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you guys real soon.